This is Josh Teichman, here to demonstrate the use of the Bionico Corrado model for simulated PK suturing. The model should be prepared according to the instructions for best use. If this were a real patient, we would begin by marking the cornea for centration and possibly pre-marking suture placement. The host cornea would be trephinated and removed using corneal scissors. The donor would be trephinated and transferred to the surgical field using a patent spatula. At this stage, our simulation begins. The first few sutures are placed using Pollock forceps for better control of the tissue. The forceps hold the anterior third of the tissue edge. A slight rotation of the wrist allows one to see the tissue depth. At this stage in the surgery, sutures are usually tied using tying forceps. Corneal suturing should be radial, equally distributed, and 95% depth. The needle enters the tissue near perpendicular and should follow the natural curvature of the needle. Cinching sutures help to secure them. The second suture should bisect the donor into equal halves and should be placed exactly 180 degrees away on the host. It is the placement of this suture that is most important to minimize astigmatism. The third and fourth sutures once placed should create a diamond configuration. After this, the remaining sutures are placed. It is important to always bisect such that the distances between sutures are equal. Once all the sutures are placed, the knots are cut short. The Bionico Corrado model allows for a very good simulation of the required hand positioning and movements for corneal transplant surgery. The lack of dispersed pigment, sloughing epithelium, and OVD makes for a much easier introduction to corneal suturing.